Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Friday 13th of the July 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. It looks like we are going to have a busy day today. Plenty of data had been released overnight. Most of, the, of this data were from Japan as you can see. For example, unemployment rate lower than expected 2.9 versus 3%. Uh, industrial production higher than expected 6.2 versus 5 percent plenty of data not that much important for the for the traders uh, nevertheless from the macroeconomic point of view it's kind of a uh, interesting to uh, to keep an eye on this um, uh, on this data uh, during the London session we got another uh, data coming on in form of the GDP from the European countries like uh, France for example GDP is better than expected 0.9 versus uh, 0.8 uh, there is of course GDP uh, from Spain from um, Germany, Italy, and the overall gross domestic uh, product uh, revised from the uh, Eurozone uh, countries together with consumer price index. Yesterday reading of the consumer price index from Germany had been at the highest level since 1993, 3.8%. Uh, so this is kind of a uh, surprise for the for all of the economists, and uh, we will see how this uh, how this news will get digested by the market uh, participants. During the New York session, we have uh, important data scheduled for release, mostly from Canada. Gross domestic product from Canada scheduled for release half past two, together with the uh, industrial product price uh, index and raw material price um, index. Uh, from the US, we have the PCE core and personal spending, together with the personal income uh, data. And at the end of the day, we have a Chicago purchasing managers index, uh, with the inflation inflation uh, expectations and back a huge US recount for all of you crude oil uh, traders. So pretty busy day. Some uh, data looks like uh, they're going to be important and might trigger some unexpected moves uh, during the day. So let's take a look at some uh, some of the uh, charts. I think we should uh, start with the Japanese yen. So let's take a look at the US dollar to the Japanese yen. Uh, how this data played out so far? Um, not that much. Uh, not that much. Let's say um, uh, volatility uh, on the US dollar to Japanese yen uh, market. Yesterday we had a down day. Today market tries to uh, break below the lows of the 27th of the uh, July which are at the level of 109.59 so far there is no avail and we are getting closer and closer towards the uh, technical support at 109.21 and of course the lows of the 19th of the uh, July which are at 109 uh, and 8 pips so any violation of this level 109 and, and uh, 8 pips will likely uh, result in another wave uh, to the downside of course so we should um, expect the market to hit the level of 108.41 as we can see the market is out of the channel already and the break back um, into the channel has failed the local high we got at the level of 110.60 so it's still below the technical resistance at 110.73 so right now all of these green uh, lines will switch to the red so that means they are the technical resistance uh, lines and we are waiting for the market participants to apparently go a little bit lower uh, abc pattern had been finished we got three ways to the upside this looks like a connector so what we should expect is possibly another three ways down so this would look uh, like um, uh, the wave uh, the wave let's say our uh, bearish combo uh, which is the w somewhere here we uh, 
I've finished the wave uh, wave X and wave Y is uh, is about to be uh, made uh, in the near uh, future momentum below a level of 50 and uh, it's weak so it confirms the short-term bearish outlook of course we need to take a look at the Canadian dollar because um, of the incoming um, data uh, in form of the consumer price index and the GDP so what do we see here we are extending the slide uh, from oh didn't catch that correctly we have two 0.9% uh, uh, slide to the downside present already on this on this market so we can see this is the biggest correction in the whole move up and that's a new cycle so far we got three waves a b and c let's take a look whether those waves are maybe related to uh, to each other whether they are uh, somehow um, uh, proportional in proportion so we have the wave a from the wave b and what we need is like 100 uh, percent and uh, that's it for now 100 percent is is somewhere here so uh, not that much maybe 61 percent that might be it might be there you go 61 percent is 1.2418 100 percent is 1.2307 so those are the uh, Fibonacci retracement, uh, Fibonacci in projections target levels for the wave down uh, on the US dollar to the Canadian dollar. As you can see, we are back below this trend line, and that trend line, as you can see here, is kind of a long right now because it starts from this high made last year. So this is 2020. December 2020 so that's more than a half of the year of the trend line kind of important because we have this breakout which, which turns out to be false breakout we back under the trend line which means this is no good for any kind of a uh, 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 bullish market right so we get back below the line it's supposed to be start of the new uptrend. It's supposed to be start of the bullish market. It wasn't. We got the reversal and now we are back below the trend line. If we out of this channel, which is below the level of 100% of the Fibonacci relationships, 1.2307 and below 1.2301, which is the technical support, then of course we are going back to the downtrend the momentum is already below the level of 50 which is the neutral level so please keep an eye on today's data on the us dollar to the canadian dollar let's take a look at the end on the uh, ethereum what is the ethereum doing well so far um we got this scenario of going a little bit higher but it turns out the market needed one more test of the uh, support of 1700 and then uh, we are doing the mm, doing the uh, move uh, towards the uh, 2637 which is the technical resistance for the price um, this level has been violated so this is the technical resistance 2401 uh, this is very strong support here between uh, around the level of 1700 uh, so please keep an eye on this on this level some from the bigger point of view um, this looks like a um, um, uh, accumulation phase accumulation phase low volatility uh, strong support one two three four time tested so around 1700 we have a first bounce we have the second bounce but please notice the fact that as long as we trade below 2906 2944 this market is still uh, into corrective accumulation phase um, so we need to break below this this zone we need we need dynamic breakout be, uh, above sorry above this this zone of course towards the level of like uh, 3000 3358 uh, another technical resistance 3601 in order to 
to uh, go higher uh, towards the recent swing high located somewhere around 4345 as long as we stay here it doesn't matter how good it looks you know, we are still in the range trading um, uh, zone uh, which is between this 1700 and 2906 dollars uh, zone uh, momentum is strong momentum is positive but we are getting closer towards the um, extremely overbought market conditions so i think around the level of 2337 this is the the level when the market becomes extremely uh, overbought so please keep an eye on this level uh, as well and we will see how the ethereum uh, will uh, will be uh, traded around this level and of course most importantly around 2906 dollars that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next week bye bye